Well, new at 10, two inmates who escaped from the Florence prison last weekend are back in custody, but they were on the run for nearly five days. And tonight we're hearing from a man who says his family had a terrifying encounter with the inmates, an encounter that put his wife in the hospital. Team 12's Bianca Bono is in Coolidge with the story. I thought they kill her inside. Luis Alvarez is still trying to shake what he saw. She screamed at me. She tried to escape right here. From there, they grabbed her and start dragging her all the way in the house. Alvarez says around 9 o'clock Thursday morning, two men approached his Coolidge home. He was outside working. His wife, though, inside. One of the men crawling in through his dog door. That surprise that I encountered was the two inmates inside the house beating up my wife. They asked for the keys to the car and money so they can flee. His wife frantically running outside, screaming for help. That's when the second man grabbed her, dragging her back toward the house. Louise running to help, noticing the orange pants they were wearing, realizing it was David Harmon and John Sharpio, the two inmates who escaped from the Florence prison. They were very crazy, very crazy. Louise says one inmate grabbed a shovel swinging for his head, but somehow Louise was able to fight them off, yelling to a passerby to call 911. Get on the ground now! The criminals caught minutes later just up the road in a cotton field. I'm very thankful that they were caught so that they can't harm anyone anymore. Luis's wife was rushed to the emergency room, but is now back home recovering. She's traumatized, but thankful to be alive. I'm very thankful to God that they didn't kill my wife and family and that I was able to save them. And Luis believes the inmates had been staying in an abandoned house just a few hundred yards up the road from his house. The inmates are now back in custody awaiting new charges. We're in Pinal County, Bianca Bono, 12